ねえねえねえさあ<笑> Good day, everyone. I'm thrilled to introduce a slight variation to the traditional column method for multiplying two two-digit numbers. This modification is designed to enhance clarity and reduce the likelihood of errors, making the multiplication process more intuitive and straightforward. Let's dive right into an example, 26 times 83. Firstly, we start by writing down a zero. Then, instead of beginning with the ones place digit, we'll start with the tens place digit. This adjustment simplifies the mental workload and minimizes the chances of mistakes. So, we multiply 8 by 6, giving us 48. We write down the 8 and carry over the 4. Next, we multiply 8 by 2, resulting in 16. Adding the carried over 4 to 16, we get 20, moving on to the other number, and 3 multiplied by 6 is 18. We write down the 8 and carry over the 1. Next, we multiply 3 by 2, resulting in 6 and adding the carried over 1 to 6, we get 7. Now, we add these two sets of products. Adding 0 and 8 gives us 8, 8 plus 7 is 15. We write down the 5 and carry over the 1, and 0 plus 1 is 1, and here is 2. Therefore, the product of 26 and 83 is 2158. Let's dine into the rationale behind this method. Consider 83 as 80 plus 3. Now, we can express 26 times 83 as 26 times opening bracket 80 plus 3 closing bracket. This expands into 26 times 80 plus 26 times 3. Calculating, we get 2080 for 26 times 80. And 78 for 26 times 3. Adding these results together, 2080 plus 78 equals 2158. So this 2158 equal to this part, this 2080 equals to here, and 78 is here. And this explain why we need add these two number here in the column method. Let's do another example, 45 times 78. Firstly, we start by writing down a zero. So, we multiply 7 by 5, giving us 35. We write down the 5 and carry over the 3. Next, we multiply 7 by 4, resulting in 28. Adding the carried over 3 to 28, we get 31. Moving on to the other number, 8 multiplied by 5 equals 40. We write down the 0 and carry over the 4. And 8 multiplied by 4 is 32. Adding the carried over 4 to 32, we get 36. Now, we add these two sets of products. Adding 0 and 0 gives us 0. 5 plus 6 is 11. We write down 1 and carry over the 1. And 1 plus 3 plus the carried over 1 is 5. 3 plus 0 is 3. Therefore, the product of 45 and 78 is 3510. Let's dine into the rationale behind this method. Consider 78 as 70 plus 8. Now, we can express 45 times 78 as 45 times opening bracket 70 plus 8 closing bracket. This expands into 45 times 70 plus 45 times 8. Calculating, we get 3150 for 45 times 70. And 360 for 45 times 8. Adding these results together, 3150 plus 360 equals 3510. So this 3510 equal to this part. This 3150 equals to here, and 360 is here. And this explains why we need to add these two numbers here in the column method. Let's do another example, 31 times 65. Firstly, we start by writing down a zero. So, we multiply 6 by 1, giving us 6. Next, we multiply 6 by 3, resulting in 18. Moving on to the other number, 5 multiplied by 1 equals 5. 5 multiplied by 3 is 15. Now, we add these two sets of products. Adding 0 and 5 gives us 5, 6 plus 5 is 11, we write down 1 and carry over the 1. And 8 plus 1 plus the carried over 1 is 10. So we write 0 and carry over the 1. 1 plus carried over 1 is 2. Therefore, the product of 41 and 65 is 2015.
Let's dine into the rationale behind this method. Consider 65 as 60 plus 5. Now, we can express 31 times 65 as 31 times opening bracket, 60 plus 5, closing bracket. This expands into 31 times 65 plus 31 times 5. Calculating, we get 1860 for 31 times 60, and 155 for 31 times 5. Adding these results together, 1860 plus 155 equals 2015. So this 2015 equal to this part, this 1860 equals to here, and 155 is here. And this explains why we need to add these two numbers here in the column method. Let's do another example, 675 times 32. Firstly, we start by writing down a zero. So, we multiply 3 by 5, giving us 15. We write down the 5, and carry over the 1. Next, we multiply 3 by 7, resulting in 21. Adding the carried over 1 to 21, we get 22. We write down the 2, and carry over the 2. 3 multiplied by 6 is 18, and adding the carried over 2 to 18, we get 20. Moving on to the other number, and 2 multiplied by 5 is 10. We write down a 0, and carry over the 1. Next, we multiply 2 by 7, resulting in 14, and adding the carried over 1 to 14. We get 15. We write down the 5, and carry over the 1. 2 multiplied by 6 is 12, and adding the carried over 1 to 12, we get 13. Now, we add these two sets of products. Adding 0 and 0 gives us 0. 5 plus 5 is 10. So write 0 and carry out the 1, and 2 plus 3 plus the carried out 1 is 6. 0 plus 1 is 1, 2 plus 0 is 2. Therefore, the product of 675 and 32 is 21,600. Let's dine into the rationale behind this method. Consider 32 as 30 plus 2. Now, we can express 675 times 32 as 675 times opening bracket 30 plus 2 closing bracket. This expands into 675 times 30 plus 675 times 2. Calculating, we get 20,250 for 675 times 30, and 1,350 for 675 times 2. Adding these results together, 20250 plus 1350 equals 21600. So this 21600 equal to this part. And this explains why we need to add these two numbers here in the column method. This 20250 equals to here, and 1350 is here. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to get new video updates. See you in the next video.